Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Kimberly Kardashian, you are posting nonsensical pictures. But baby, the streets are saying Kim thinks that she is cursed. That's right. Kim thinks a Kardashian hex has come back to her. Kim thinks somebody put them roots on her. And baby, she might have a point. Y'all, let's get into this. As you guys know, Kim has long been rumored to love a little witchcraft, little, little santeria, love a little superficial, superstition. Now, why do we say that? Well, for one, y'all, Kim is always collecting somebody's hair, somebody's bones. Remember, she wanted Kris Jenner's bones. She's always into some weird mess, right? And I took it as a joke, like, okay, whatever. When they called the Coven witches and all this other stuff, right? I do believe that Kim is so desperate to stay young that, baby, she would throw some roots on her own self just to make sure she looked 23 forever, okay? Who would have thought that Kim would become the main character and death becomes her? But, y'all, let's get into why Kim thinks that somebody put some roots on her or she got an evil spirit, um hovering around her cut to everybody being like kim the evil sport it might be you i joke i joke i joke we know kim isn't st- uh, evil at least i don't think i don't know what y'all think first let's get into the instagram post that caused all the commotion in the comments okay so kim posted this dumb post that was like oh my god guys so scary Um, I took this picture like a month ago and just noticed it and just noticed that there's somebody in the room with me. Now, when I first said that, I said, (laughs) shut up, Kim. First of all, whoever that person in the background is looks like got Kris Jenner's haircut. Is that the evil spirit watching over you? Second of all, Kim, shut up. You're obviously looking at it to see if there is some type of fit and what's going on. Okay. But people said that this was Kim actually signaling that she thinks she's bit, that somebody put some roots on her, that there is an evil spirit messing up everything she does. What's the first reason? Well, you know, mm-bop, mm-bop, boom, boom, bop. okay, mbappy, right? He is the world's biggest sports star right now, biggest soccer, football, whatever rep you, whatever uh, set you rep, biggest, um, oh yeah. He's the biggest football player. He's the biggest everything, okay? Now, Kim's been trying to make the moves on Mbappé for a while. You know what? I'm actually on to Kim's little game, too. Kim uses Saint to get close to the athletes, and she takes Sainty to the game, right? Y'all, I'm just saying, any woman in Calabasas, if your man is taking the kids on a play date with Saint, you better ride along because you know the card. That Kim got some plans. So anyway, right? Because let's not forget... Tom Brady was teaching Saint how to throw a football. Cut to Kim being in his DMs. We'll talk about this in a second. And Bobby invited Kim and Saint out to watch him play football. Now, people were saying that, by people, I mean me, like, oh my God, what does this mean? Is Kim getting closer to being with Mbappe? She was even at the 4th of July party. Go watch that other, um, Sorry, go watch that last video I posted. Now, I thought for a second that Kim might have a chance because let's be real, right? Mbappe's last uh, girlfriend, she was a 2017 uh, Playboy playmate. She made headlines because she was the first transgender model to be on the cover of uh, Playboy. I thought Kim might have had a chance because Kim looks just like the girl. Go watch my old video if you want to see the pictures. There's a whole playlist. Also, Keeping Up with the Kardashians Season 3, Episode 7 uh, recap is up. Baby, this is a doozy. It's good. You got to watch it. Okay, right? So I was like, okay. But unfortunately, Kim is realizing. First of all, Mbappe is, Mbappe is in his mid-20s, right? He is young. That thing, you know, soccer players, God, they got that dog in them naturally. And I was like, wow, is she trying to do another Pete Davidson? Because she said she doesn't want anybody too young, but she doesn't want anybody old. Out of, out of, out of this, that, and the third. Well, baby, it looks like Mumbabi said, can I get somebody in my age, my age range? Y'all, even though Kim was doing her best to be in his face, this video of Mumbabi being on the dance floor with Kendall. Now, some people are saying, 
Oh, please. Kendall's just babysitting for the Kardashians. Baby, the Kardashians don't babysit each other's men. Kris Jenner, her only loathe of loyalty is y'all keep it in the family. That's right. You really think that Kris Jenner is going to let the biggest soccer play in the world out of the Coven's claws? Out of the Coven's claws just because he wasn't feeling Kim? Oh, do you like her younger, taller, supermodel sister, Kendall? Right? And you know he must have been talking to Kendall because they was on the dance floor together. And we've all seen Kendall dance. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We know Kendall ain't breaking it down to Bad Bunny songs. So anyway, that's the first thing what Kim was like, man, like, I'm trying to push up with Mbappe. Usually he would have been all over me, but he's not feeling me. He's on my younger sister who is age appropriate, tall, supermodel, also looks like his ex-girlfriend, and all got four kids that he needs to worry about. Now, ain't nothing wrong with having kids, but if you can find someone you like that is, like, single, right, why would you pick the person with more responsibility? You see what I'm saying? Anyway. So then she also thinks that something is going on because Tom Brady. Now, Chris Jenner tried that same mess with Tom Brady that they did with Timothy Chalamet and with, what's his name? <laughs> Timothy Chalamet and with Bad Bunny, right? The way Kylie's supposed to be dating Timothy Chalamet, she just gives her keys to security to drive her SUV to park in his uh, driveway for 10 minutes and then drive back home. Those little fake PR relationships that maybe could turn to something if people don't mind being associated Tom Brady shut that mess down with a quickness. He let his people go on record because the Kardashians tried to be like, oh my God, they were flirting all night. He let his people go on record and say that they had barely any interaction. They briefly said hi, that's it. And Tom was not around her for the rest of the night. On top of that, on top of that, you guys, right? Tom was fine to let it be known that he was flirting, talking, drinking, token, whatever with Emrata all night. And you know, Emrata is the same woman that Miss Mistilia Man, I'll take your man, is the same woman that took Pete away from Kim when Kim thought they were going to reconcile. You guys, you guys, what's the last thing? Kim's worst nightmare came out. Dave Portney from Barstool Sorts. Now, listen, I know that he is a hot mess. I'm not using him as an authority, but he came out in a video. And I'm not going to play the whole video because I actually think every time, I don't know, listen, y'all can play Dave Portney all you want. Every time I look at what he's doing, he's saying something very racist and I don't like it, right? So I'm not even giving him his thing. But he did say what a lot of people in Hollywood feel. And I don't mean people that needs Kim's name as a come up. I mean the established men, the established men that Kim wants that don't want her fame. They've reached a point in their lives, career, money, they're trying to run away from the tabloids and away from the newspapers being in their business. Y'all, let's get into this. And baby, mind you, this man, Dave Portney, had the nerve and he is one of the biggest podcasters, conglomerates, in the world and he is po not powerful but he definitely moves taste and trends among sports stars not the tristan thompson's but serious sports stars y'all he had the nerve to say that tom brady shouldn't even touch kim kardashian if he wants to be with her he needs to quietly go to a motel room and right and do his business with her and then go brag to his friends. But baby, don't step out because you're better than that. What are you doing? He publicly shamed Tom Brady because there was a chance that he could be falling under the Kardashian spell. Y'all listen, this is going to have to be a part two because I got some tea on that. Plus my phone's going dead. Yo, listen, I'll see y'all on the other side. Let me charge up and I promise I'm going to drop a part two video because... Yeah, we're going to have to throw Kanye into the mix. Ooh, talk to y'all soon.